Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Megan from Glimpse Within. I am doing an art journal spread that is based on the theme of springtime since it is April, even though here in Michigan it is freezing and snowing still. So the very first part I already had stenciled it with pencil. Now I'm just going over it with my micron pens. Um, right now I used a circular stencil and then um, I'm just going over what I had already drawn. I think my theme is going to be based around bicycles. I went to Michael's and found some cute sticker tape that I will show you here in a minute that had little bicycles on it and it made me feel like I should do a spread based on bicycles and then I started getting ideas of like old cameras and a little bit of vintage style with turquoise and metallics. So right now I'm just drawing a little basket with some tulips and I just continue to draw in with my micron pens what I had already stenciled with pencil and then you'll see me start to color in more with my dual brush markers.
from here I will start to do my art journal layout. I am starting with this gold color and putting it in the corner and spreading it around. Um, I really like this color. You can't tell how shiny it is, but it's pretty shiny. When it dries, it's not quite as much, but I really like it. And then I wanted to do like turquoise and pastel colors, so I put some light turquoise in the bottom right corner here. These are acrylics that I got at Hobby Lobby, and I really like how diversified they are and how many there are. Um, sorry you can't see the top very well. I didn't get it in shot very well. But I'm using this kind of fun springy pink and just pulling it down with my sponge brush. Those I also got at Hobby Lobby. They're really inexpensive and fun to use. And I'm just spreading it across the page into the gold. And then I'm trying to find a new color to use. I decided to use silver in the corner on the left in the bottom. And I'm just spreading it up and filling in my colors nicely. And in a second here, I will fill in with some black. Now I am taking this bright metallic turquoise and I am spreading it around the black and just kind of filling it in and making it look like a splash of color. I actually got this turquoise today at Michael's. I just thought it looked really fun and I thought it kind of went with this bicycle spring theme that I'm going for. I'm taking another brush, more of a pointed tip, and just adding little dots all around. It's kind of fun. It can look like just like polka dots, or you can imagine that it's kind of like a little galaxy. Now I'm taking some tissue paper that you get for birthdays and things like that, gift bags, and I am just using my glue stick to stick it on. I kind of like the look when it's a little bit crumpled, so I'm just doing that with these gold polka dots. And then I'm trying to figure out where to put this silver poster board paper that's really shiny. And you can't see, but I'm just kind of cutting it into a little bit of a zigzag pattern. And then I'm going to put it in the corner. I didn't want it to be that big, so I'm just kind of cutting it down a little bit. And then trying to figure out where to place it. I eventually just cut it a little bit more and then put it in the corner with some glue. And then I cut out my bicycle that I showed you the tutorial of earlier and I'm just trying to figure out where to place it. So I'm putting some glue with the glue stick and then I'm going to paste it on um, right on the left side of the page. And it kind of had a hard time sticking because the page curls down. So I'm using my double sided tape adhesive 
to make it extra sticky. And then this is the cute washi sticker tape that I got that inspired this whole springy bicycle theme. Um, I don't put it on yet, but I will in a minute. And then I am just putting these cutouts that I got off the internet. Um, I just printed them out on my printer at home and cut them out. I found on Google Images and Pinterest just cute little cameras and vintage flower pots and things like that. And then I'm putting some washi tape that is light pink that kind of goes with the theme. And then this is the bicycle tape I was talking about that I love. Um, it's actually just sticker roll instead of washi tape. And it has like cute little scooter and bicycle and cars. And it's kind of a shame because I end up covering up a little bit so you can't see all of it. And then um, I also got in that roll this little floral sticker tape. So I'm just putting that on the top and cutting it across the edge so that it fits. Actually, I think I just pasted it down beneath. And then I knew I wanted to do some quotes on here. So I'm putting some white so that black will stand out on top of it. So I'm just using acrylic white paint and making a little area right there to write something. And then this, I have a lot of bridal magazines because I'm getting married this year. And so um, that's where I found this little flower pot and I'm putting it right in the corner. And um, then I had some other little bicycles and things that I couldn't figure out where to put. And then I'm just gluing that in right on top of the sticker tape. And then I have these cute little hanging bird cages that are pretty vintage and I'm trying to find a spot for them. I like them on the top like that. Um, just glue them in like they're hanging from the top of the page. You can really find any of these images um, on Google and print them out from your printer at home. Or you can look in magazines which is really fun too. Do you have any old magazines laying around? And just find whatever inspires you and looks good with your theme. So once I've pasted those in, um, then I am moving on to find more things. So I'm trying to see what fits. As you can see, I have a lot of floral and bicycle and vintage little pictures that I'm trying to find a place for. And I love all of them, so it's hard for me to decide which ones to include. This is more tissue paper. Um, it's just silver this time with stripes rather than the gold polka dots. You can find this anywhere. I think I got it at um, TJ Maxx. And you can get a big pack of it for like three bucks. And then just have it in your little scrapbook paper area with all of your stuff. And then I just paste in this little camera and make sure that the corners are rounded. I have a lot of fun gold washi tape that I got on Amazon. Um, I can link it in the description, but basically I just wanted to use more washi tape because <laughs> I thought it would be fun. So I found this little stripey gold piece and put it right there. And then I have this little cute bag that I got and I like to store my metallics in it, my white pens. And then, um, this one I used because it's a finer tip and I just got them so I was trying to see if it would show up on the black, which it kind of does. Um, and I'm just writing a little quote here. I wanted to use gold for the next word. So I'm getting out some more metallic things to try and see what shows up on the black, which is probably helpful if you haven't purchased any yet because you can see which works and which doesn't really. Um, I'm using this same kind as the white I did earlier but with gold so you can see it doesn't really show up that well and then this is a sharpie which honestly it's probably the worst they're white 
I don't mind their gold and silver, but their white is very good. And then this is the Sakura pen. It's so much better, as you can see. Um, the gold really shines really brightly. And I'll link that in the description too. I got on Amazon. And then this is my Uniposca white pen. And as you can tell, it really brightened everything up to use that on top. So even though I like the other ones because they're more fine, they don't really show up very well on black. Um, on white, it's a different story, but on the black, it doesn't show up as much. And then, yeah, I'm just doing this cute little quote, let your soul shine, with some little doodles on the side. Yeah, and then I just test whether that's dry or not to see if I can write on it over there for another quote. Um, but it wasn't. I had to stop filming and go use a blow dryer. I don't have a heat tool, so I just did that. And then I just barely got my first Tombow dual brush marker and I love it. Um, this is my first time using it on anything that I've drawn. And I just put my favorite little simple quote, be free, um, with that. And here's the final product.